Vivian Polly, this is my second time trying to make the video because I got interrupted the first time and I didn't know how to um, pause the video feature, so I'm starting over. I'm a little bit nervous about doing this. I get nervous every time I make a video, um, but I'm doing it for you because I wanted to send a reply to the video that you sent me. And thank you again because I loved it. Um, and I'm just going to share a little bit with you about me and the things that I, um, the things that I. really interesting. 
interested in other people's cultures in general. I've heard a lot about Russia because my father-in-law um, was married to a woman from Russia and all of their her family was um, still there so they would go there to visit often. And um, you know he told me a lot of stories about it and um, you know it's definitely just very interesting. It's very different from what I hear. It's very different there um, than what it's like here. And, um, but it seems like, you know, a lot of the people there just have, like, I guess a love for life and their priority in life is more about, um, family and having fun. Um, here, um, here I guess it's a lot more diverse. There are some people that care a lot about family, um, people that care about community and getting together, but we don't really have it as much. When I was growing up, um, I mean, I could pretty much go to any one of my neighbor's houses, and they would invite me in and sit down and talk to them, and, um, you know, most of my friends growing up were actually adults. I didn't, um, I didn't really, like, I guess I went to a private school, and there wasn't a lot of kids in the neighborhood where I lived, so I hung out with the adults a lot, but I mean... After that, um, when I moved, it was like that again, but, but I guess as I, as I've gotten older, I found that there's like less sense of community here. Uh, everyone, I don't know if everyone's just too busy or just too wrapped up in their own world, but, you know, people don't really say hi to their neighbors here. Um, they, they don't become friends with their neighbors. They don't look out for their neighbors. Um there's just really no sense of community, and, um, I mean, I, I can't really compare it to anywhere else, but it just seems like in a lot of other countries, there's more sense of family and community where everyone's working together, and, um, I wish we could have that more here. Um, one of the things, um, that I like about just so many different people here and they are able to share so much about so many different cultures and it's interesting to see how those things work together and um, you know I think it's just really inspiring to know a lot of different kinds of people um, I don't think life would be very interesting if everyone was the same or if everyone came from the same background or had the same beliefs um, I know I guess that it causes conflict sometimes for some people, but for me, I just feel like as long as you're open to the differences in this world, um, it can be really interesting, um, and sometimes I learn things about other cultures that I think are really neat that I want to incorporate into my own life, and I do. Um, I guess...
it feels good to know that like somebody needs you for some something or that somebody um, cares about what you think or cares about you know cares about your opinions on things and um, you know I like being able to be there for my friends and do things for my friends I have to admit that when I get really busy and I and I get wrapped up in things and in my day to day life um, that it's um, it's upsetting to feel like I've fallen behind on my friends and so I always like try to reconnect and see what's new with them and what's going on with them and um, if there's anything I can do for them um, for me my, my day to day life um, is pretty much the same almost every day it's not very exciting get up in the morning, I get the kids ready for the day, get them breakfast, um, there's three of them, and that can be just a little, um, you know, it's really hard when, like, three people all need something from you at the same time, so by the time I'm done getting them ready for the day, that's usually when I sit down and have a cup of coffee and check my email, and kind of just, um, recharge myself for the rest of the day, because I'm not really a morning person, so to like wake up and have to take care of three other people um, by the time I'm done with that even though I know it doesn't sound like much but by the time I'm done with that I just need like a little recharge and um, so that's usually when I um, check my emails and see what's going on for the day and make my plans um, after that um, I work on my, my writing and my editing um, and then in between that I usually do things um, with my kids daughter's learning how to read, so I work with her on that, and she does gymnastics, and so a lot of times she wants to practice, and so I practice with her at home. Um, if the weather's nice, we go out and we jump on the trampoline, or we check on our garden, or we walk across the street to visit um, my father-in-law, and, um, and my brother-in-law and his girlfriend, um, they're expecting a baby soon, so, well, she should have already had the baby. I have a really hard time writing when the kids are awake. 
relationship with them like I would like to, but um, I'm hoping that um, that I can get closer to them as the years go on, uh, especially my sister, because I'd always wanted a sister, but I was I think 10 or 11 by the time um, my parents gave me a sister. Um, I have a really, really great relationship with my dad. He's, he's technically my stepdad, um, but I don't think of him that way. He's the only dad I've ever known. Um, and I have a, I have a pretty good relationship with my mom. There's just some things that, uh, I try to avoid having conversations with her about because, uh, we see very differently and she's not very open to, um, my thoughts on certain things. And, um, something and at the same time um, I'm also not really good at saying something I don't really believe in so uh, I'm not able to agree with her if I don't agree with her so I try to just uh, avoid certain topics. Um, I also have a really close relationship with my uncle. He lives in Georgia. Um, so does my grandmother and my aunt and um, I have a lot of respect for my uncle. He's a really smart guy. smart with money and he's really smart with dealing with people and professionalism and um, I'm not as awesome as he is but I hope that I can learn from him and a lot of times I ask his advice on things and uh, I always take his advice I don't ask his advice unless I'm really willing to take whatever it is because he doesn't like it when people ask his advice if they don't take it so um, but he gives really good advice so Usually I don't mind listening to whatever he has to say because he's right, you know, he's always right. Um, and then um, my cousins are all over the place right now. Um, my cousin Ryan just got married and he is in Texas. And my cousin, uh, my cousins Michael and Danny are in Georgia. And my cousin Ashley, who um, I was actually the closest to growing up, I don't actually know where she is right now. I think she might be in South Carolina. Um... But they were like my brothers and sisters growing up too, so I have a very close relationship with them. And um, I guess if if I had like an unlimited amount of money and I could do anything that I wanted, I would just like buy an island or something or a state or something and I would just build everyone that I care about a house and have them all live by me. Um, they might not want to, but if they wanted to... I would want them to live by me, all my friends and all my family, so I could be um, always surrounded by the people that I love. And um, right now, I don't really have that too much. I have my immediate, my immediate, like, my immediate family, my um, my kids, and my husband, and my father-in-law, brother-in-law, and his girlfriend. And um, I'm very happy to be surrounded by these people. Um, but there's always room for more. So, um, that's a bit about me and my life. Um, I really enjoyed hearing all about you, and um, I do hope that maybe one day you could come visit me in America, or that I could come visit you in Russia. And uh, I guess that's all for this video. Um, if you have any special requests for next time, just let me know, and um, I'll try to do a better job next time.